Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today is block eight of our Christmas mystery block of the month. So you can see these are our previous seven blocks and this is today's block. And for this, you're going to need a piece of background fabric, which measures five inches by four and a half inches. You're also going to need a piece of green felt or wool from one of our wool scrap bags. And you're also going to need either red beads or red buttons and some green thread to do the veins on the leaves. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. I'm just gonna pop all these out of the way for the moment. So we're going to take our background fabric and then we're going to take a piece of bondweb and I've already drawn these leaves on there and I've just done them very roughly. It's quite easy to draw holly. You just come back and do a curve sort of like that and then come back and do another curve like that. It's really simple and it can be as rough as you want. It's a really easy thing to draw. So I'm going to press this. I'm going to rough cut this and then I'm going to press it onto my piece of green felt. So I'm just roughly going to cut these leaves out. Just so I can fit them onto my piece of felt. And as I say, this is perfect for using up some of the little wool squares from our wool scrap bags if you haven't got any felt. So I'm going to iron that onto there. And then I'm going to cut out the two leaves on the lines. And if I'm not happy with the shape, I can just sort of do a bit of altering here just to make the shape better if that's what I want to do. If you're not confident of doing the drawing, there's lots of images online that you could print off and trace. So that's one. That's two. So I'm just going to break the back of that bonder web and then I'm going to press them onto the background fabric. So I'm positioning them onto the background fabric where the fabric comes across and measures five that way. So the widest part, and I'm just going to put them on there, not too near the edge because we're going to need a quarter of an inch seam when we come to join our blocks together. So just think about your placing of them. And I'm quite happy with that. So back over to the iron, press them in place. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these little veins that I've done here. And all I've done is with this one, I've used a variegated thread just so it's slightly different. And I've just come up and down on the line. So I'll show you on the machine how I do that. And it can be really random because if you think about what the leaves look like, there's no two the same. So I'm just going over to the sewing machine to do that sewing. So I'm going to start by doing a line to the tip of the leaf. And then with my needle in, I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to come back down the leaf. And then I'm going to go off at an angle towards that point. So I need to turn it that way. I'm going to turn around and go back down the same line, keeping my needle in, and then I'm going to go up towards that point. And 
and then back down the center line. Turn it round and come towards the point again. Turn it round, back down to the stem. And then back up to this point. Gone off slightly there, but doesn't matter. Back to the center. And I'm going to do the same on the other one. If you didn't want to do this by machine, you could do this by hand if you wanted to, and you could use an embroidery thread if that's what you wanted to do. And that's the veins done on your holly leaf. So all that you need to do now is to put some buttons or beads on. So we're just going back over and I'll show you the one that I've already done. So as you can see on this one, I've just sewn three red beads to give the effect of berries. If you haven't got red beads, you could put buttons or you could even use red felt and cut out little circles to give the idea of your berries. As I've said each time, it's probably better to leave your embellishments until the end when we've got all our pieces joined together as in one wall hanging and then you can decorate it. It makes life easy for you. But I've done this today just to show you what you can do. So don't forget to sign up and subscribe so that you don't miss next month's block of the month. And I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.